man. Hello everybody, Fallen Rain here on another video on Girls X Battle 2. Today we're going to talk about lab. The lab is very, very important. It is for powering up your characters in all different types of stats. I wish I listened at the beginning when I had loads of guild coins because people in the Facebook pages were like, um, answering questions to people who had that question about, oh, you know, what should I, what should I do with my guild coins? Everyone, like about 10 different people going lab, 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 lab. But me, I decided to buy some units um, as well, which you can get from the merchant, which is right here. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, let's get straight into this. <clears throat> so the lab is for powering up all stats. Um, it always starts with health. Yeah, you start with health here. And then it changes depending on which, you know, girl category you want to power up. Because, oh yeah, so I should say that. They all come in, they come in five different categories. So all the different girls come in five different categories. Warrior, Mage, Ranger, Assassin and Priest. And depending on which one you select, you have a different um, type of... How do you say? So it's like a cycle. Think of it like a wheel and you've got to like go around the wheel to get to each of them. But as you go around this little kind of circular wheel here, the um, the requirements get much, much higher. So when you get up to the top one here, for example, you're paying 400, was that 400? Yeah, 400,000 for and 1,400 for one power up, which is ridiculous. So it depends on which when you go for but just no doubt that as you do it and stuff you you know it costs more but at the beginning it always starts with health because obviously health is quite important in the game so you know you gotta definitely build up your health and that's <clears throat> i just actually powered it up a little bit there myself for the ranger so um what you gotta do is this let me quickly show you You've got to look for the girls that you are one that you wanted to power up. Let's say I want to power up Amazon. I know from this little thing here in the corner, she's a ranger, and you can see that for any of the units, and Maya is an assassin. You know, so and, it, and the list goes on like that. Okay, so depending on which one. You know, your unit is, you can power them up. Now, like I said, there's different types here. So let's say I'm the ranger, the ranger, yeah? Right now, I've got to run, you know, level 32 out of 60. If you look down at the bottom, it says a 16% increase in health. Now, when they're like five star, you know, that might not make a massive, massive difference. But when you start getting into that six star and seven star, and they're all like, you know, 200,000, 300,000 in health, this makes a massive difference because percentage based. So that means that, you know, it goes up with the, the amount that you get given. It goes up with, you know, how high your maximum potential is at 100%. So that's it. You know I mean? That's how that works. Less. So, you know, it's really, really good. You know, um, the one I focus on the most is attack because, you know, attack is great. <laughs> we all love to power up our, our attack. So um, I've got that, of course, at 22% currently out of 50, 44 out of 50. So, um, and this is why I like the ranger category because the attack starts on the second slot, which a lot of them don't really do that. Um, you've got critical damage on the assassin. Okay, you get it on the mage as well. So mage is fine. Um, oh, actually, no, 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 sorry. Let me take that back. You actually do get it on a few of them. You know what it is? I usually go for the assassin, the priest, and they don't have it as their, um, as their first one. I had to go all the way around, like this one here, for example, the skill damage, go all the way over here to physique to get the attack add of what I wanted. So, um, yeah, but yeah, worry and mage, they got the attack there as well, so that's cool. But, um, you know, of course, attack is really, really important. If you can build that up, then you're good to go, really. You know, offense is the greatest defense, even though defense is very important in this game, too. Um, I don't think dodge is really that important. I would ignore that one. Uh, let me give you an example. <coughs> uh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Hit rate. Nah. Most of your attacks hit, girls. Unless, like, you've got someone who's really, really, you know, dodging that crazy. Oh, which one is it? Yeah, see, there you go, dodge. So I put dodge on her because um, I was on that category because I've got psychic and psychic doesn't really... Because I've only got psychic at five star, she doesn't really have much health. 
So I thought, okay, maybe that can be a way to kind of add in some defense. Um, but I don't really think dodge works that great, to be honest. Um, it's okay. I've seen it happen a couple of times. But it doesn't really work that well, to be honest. So um, I think it's kind of useless. And I definitely won't be pairing it up all the way to 50, to be honest. So I think that's a waste of time. But, you know, the other ones are pretty good. Like, you know, you can get, like, crit, uh, critical hit rate. Crit is really good in this. Um Critical hit rate triggers normally, even without extra boost, to be honest. And, you know, it it works really well as you power it up. Like, you know, you'll see, like, you know, the little red numbers coming up. Like, you know, one time, definitely one out of three, 100%. So, <clears throat> definitely worth it. Um, so, the way how it works, sorry, I should say, is that you've got the money at the bottom and you've got the guild's coins. And what you do, you need to upgrade it with those two things. So if you've got enough money and you've got enough of the guild coins, then it will power up and then it will just go boop and go up. And that's how it works, really. So, you know, it goes up by, like I said, percentage base, usually by 0 0.5 um, each time. So, you know, you've got to do it twice to get 1%, but that's all good. You know, especially if you focus on a particular category, that's what I tried to do. I tried to narrow down my categories of girls that I was using. But um, unfortunately, the ones I really want to use, it's divided between three of them, which is Ranger, Assassin and Priest. Um, but if you have a squad who, <clears throat> if you look at all your squad's cat uh, subcategories and you see that they're all Assassins, then amazing. You know, sometimes you can make up squads to focus on that because, you know, if you have a whole Assassin squad or a whole Priest squad, then you won't need to worry about all the others and you can just focus on all your resources into this one particular category and you can max it out, like, you know, like, probably max it out, you know. Um, so, yeah, definitely, you know, I, I'd do that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for it, um, to be honest. So, like I said, as it goes up, you know, it can build up and everything and um it will make a massive difference in your in your stats so really really recommended i'm not going to press this cycle button here but um that's to you know reset if you've used if you don't want ah oh, so sorry if you don't want to um use this particular stat upgrade anymore on this category then you can receive back the guild coins i don't know if it's all of it maybe it's some of it i can't remember um and then you're able to use that in another category. Let's say I want to change all my assassin power-ups into priest. Then I can press that circular button and transfer all over to the priest section. So that's, you know, pretty useful as well. So it's not, you know, oh, it's not like the be-all of end-all. So yeah, that's pretty much um, the lab like, wrapped up into a nutshell. Next time I'll go over some stuff around the guild because I haven't really covered that yet. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, send me a comment down below and I'll happily talk to you. All right, take care.